These images spread around the world, showing one of France's most iconic landmarks in flames, while Parisians watched in shock. Five years on, investigators are still unsure how the fire was able to spread throughout the building, almost reducing it to ashes. Experts have begun to analyze every recovered object a second time. New analysis can be done with new procedures because science is constantly evolving and maybe new techniques can bring new results. Investigators took hundreds of samples from thousands of square meters of rubble. They quickly eliminated criminal activity as the fire's origin. The 15 workers who were restoring the spire were questioned for three days. Originally suspected of improperly discarding lit cigarettes, this cause was ruled out. Nonetheless, the fire started where the restoration work was located, which was outfitted with temporary electricity supplies. La piste de l'électricité. Follow the electrical trail because we've discovered that in the towers of Notre Dame for the bells and the spire, there was a ton of electrical equipment, something that was strictly forbidden in this wooden structure from the Middle Ages. Despite this hypothesis, there is still no definitive answer as to why the disaster happened. The Notre Dame Cathedral is expected to reopen early this December.